Hey guys, I just wanted to add some extra insights to the video. My first session wasn't until 2 p.m. So we had three and a half hours to burn. It was just so surreal seeing two perfect waves just reel off. It was insane. I've seen so many videos about it. So I was so excited to get out there myself. I spent the first half an hour just watching people surf. Oh my God, look at this wave. The shape of that thing and exploring the area. It's really cool. It's like this big semicircle and there's so much to explore. There's all those beds around. Then there's the hot tub and the rental area, the photo room. Then we met up with my older sister and her friends. They'd been there the day before, so they'd done a few sessions and I was just trying to learn and get myself really prepared for it. I was just so nervous. I had like butterflies in my stomach. Then once I got in the water, all the nerves just went away. Stretching for the first time in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Look where we are. Ooh. 10 minutes before your session, all the surfers meet up on the grass just for a quick safety briefing. Then you scan on with your urban surf wristband. The water is just under 12 degrees. Oh my God. And I'm in a 3 2. Now it's time to get out there. Water is like Antarctica. This is This is epic! can get quite cramped in the lineup, so if you have a foot fetish, you're in the right place. This was the last wave of the set and you can see it's significantly smaller. I'd recommend avoiding the last wave, especially on the barrel mode. There are a lot of people struggling with the takeoff. You can see there's lines on the wall which tell you where to sit. Try and sit about a meter or two away from the wall. If you're too close to it, it's actually a really steep takeoff. six or seven waves in and you might see my surfing start to get worse and that's because my feet got so frozen that I barely felt like I could surf.
And don't be fooled by that second section. It kept looking steep, so I kept going for those snaps, but just keep it on rail and do carbs. Yeah, Chloe! Headland, almost right, man. Oh, ho, ho! Hey dog! Woo! Crawley! Let's go! Thank God for the hot tub. My feet and body were so frozen. I thought I was gonna die of hypothermia. I wish we got footage because I literally couldn't walk properly. 45 minutes later, I had to go through it all again. This is the expert barrel mode. Be warned, there's a lot of barrel dodging in this. It's actually a really hard wave to surf and get deep on, but it wasn't until the end that I started getting deeper and getting the hang of it. I think falling off on this second wave put me off trying to get too deep because I didn't want to waste my waves. Oh! 
way back out, no one was getting this wave. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn around and paddle for it. And then the last wave of the set, they're just so bad. So don't waste it on the last wave, just let it go through. And then I was at the end of the line, so I got this really weird wonky wave that didn't really barrel. The last waves get really wonky from all the water bouncing around. You wanna be in like the first five. If you can stay in that rotation for most of the session, you'll be on the best waves. Damn, the pool can give you a good flogging and there's so much water moving it drags you like almost all the way to shore. GoPro got too cold and turned itself off with about 20 minutes to go. So the rest of the footage is filmed from land. Honestly, one of the best days ever. We got the craziest slamming barrels and some sick turns before that. I'm still frothing and buzzing right now. Can't wait to surf it again. You! Wow, that was an insane experience. Now, was it worth it? 110%. It was absolutely freezing though, so I'm gonna wait till it comes to Sydney and redeem myself in the barrel in much warmer water. Thanks so much for watching the video, Legends. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment what you think. I'll catch you on the next one. Ooh.